Hi, I'm Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. And I'm standing next to, or actually um, sitting here next to, a newly installed um, Haas avocado variety um, avocado tree. And you can see that it's only about maybe three feet off the ground. I've got some other trees um, off to my right, which I'm going to show you later on. Um, but this plant was just installed about two days ago. And today was in the 90s, and we're expecting close to 100 degree temperatures um, for the next week. Let me actually show you the weather here in Los Angeles. If I can bring this over here, I just want to show you how bad while the helicopter is overhead. Let me take a look at how warm it's going to be. So today it says was 88. And maybe it'll look better. No, it doesn't swing. And then if we scroll up, here it comes off. So if you take a look here in Los Angeles, so it's 86 degrees right now. Um, our high today says it's 88 degrees, and then for Tuesday, um, it's expected to be 93, Wednesday 97, um, Thursday 99, Friday 100, Saturday 100, Monday 93. So I mean, a lot of really hot days coming up, and I want to do something to actually protect the plant from burning out, dehydrating, um, and give this plant the best chance possible. Come and follow me. So what we're going to do to help this plant out, the first thing is we just installed the plant. And if you want some helpful tips on planting avocado trees, I'm going to put one or two links below in the comments. Um, so follow those links. Um, and additionally, subscribe so you don't miss out on all the videos. I try to put out a video about once every week or two at the latest. Um, so you can see all the different things that I'm doing here in the garden as well to hopefully give you some additional tips to help you out in your own garden. Um, so anyways, the first thing I want to share with you before we actually treat this plant for dehydration um, to give it the best chance going in up, up, you know, up against this next week with high 90s and 100 degree temperatures is I want to show you um, what's happening over here. When we got this from the nursery, they actually had it already pre-staked and taped. And these ties that are onto the tree are actually really tight. If you can actually come and zoom in a little closer here, you'll notice actually that this product was already painted. And I'm gonna show you the, the problem with actually just buying a store, um, just putting any paint on, the, on, this, on this tree. But you can see that it's already painted light because they know the avocados are susceptible to sunburn. But if you can come a little closer, you'll actually see the bands that are on here. You can see that it's on as tight as it can possibly do it. It's staked on. This here is the graft union which basically um, cr creates the flavor of the Haas avocado that's on the rootstock, which will control the vigor and the health and the success of the plant here in the Southern California um, growing zone. And then these, this here is actually loose, but this here is a little bit too tight. This one here is a little bit too tight. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is actually remove the bands. And this is gonna allow the waters and the sugars to move freely through the plant. So you gotta make sure the first thing you do when you actually bring this plant home install it is to remove the ties and actually restake it yourself so we just took off all the bands remove the stake you can actually use the same stake but I'm actually going to be using something that's going to help us get a lot taller and then I've got my stake over here and be sure the only advice I have when it comes to stakes is to make sure they're using either a wooden stake as um, as it arrived from the nursery or use a plastic steak. This here is a metal steak that's covered in plastic so it doesn't um, overheat and actually burn the plant but do not use a metal steak that will actually conduct heat and actually burn the plant. Make sure that it's covered with vinyl as this one is and we're just going to push that down as deep as we can next to the plant and the next step we're going to do is just to tie this plant on in place. So we're just going to tie or knot onto the stake. Do not tie any knots onto the tree as that'll again constrict the flow of water and sugars up the plant. So we put the knot onto the stake, wrap around the tree, and, and that'll now support the plant in case there's any gusts of wind that'll top it, topple and weaken the plant. The other thing that's going to help strengthen the plant is actually the application of Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. Um, it's important to actually apply it upon transplant 
And again, it'll help prevent desiccation of the plant and give it the best chance of actually establishing more roots and more branches and more leaves and not to put any of its resources into um, just staying alive and surviving the hot summer days. The best time to also be planting trees is in the fall and also in the spring. As, again, as the temperatures are cooler, but we did bring this plant into our garden. Um, it being summer, we're actually in the month of July now. Um, and again, to actually get this plant off to a good start and even in the summer, would be again to actually apply a sunblock such as Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Paint. Let me actually show you the product now. <coughs> Before I actually teach you about the product, just to my left here is a um, zucchini plant. Take a look at these leaves. Talk about natural sunblock here. If you actually zoom in over here and take a look at these leaves, you'll actually notice that it's got these white spots all over it. And when people come into my garden, they're actually saying, you know, have you sprayed Ivory Organics on your zucchini leaves as well? And, and the answer is no. Take a look at all those white spots in there. And it's actually naturally creating its own sunblock. And so what we're gonna do here today is use this product now. So we're gonna take this. It's basically Ivory Organic. It's a three-in-one tree guard paint, just add water, a natural tree trunk, and branch barrier, protection against damaging, sunburn, and insects and rodents, and for use on your fruit and nut trees, or ornamental trees and shrubs, and it's a non-toxic, environmentally safe and organic product. And what we're gonna do here when you actually open your can is it comes with a, a white organic powder, such as this, and then it comes with um, your oil vial. And what the paint does is it's gonna protect your plant from sunburn during the summer, sun scald, in the winter, and what your oils do will protect your plant from insects as well as rodents from actually wanting to gnaw and chew on whether it's the leaves or the trunks or anything that it's actually coated with. And today we're actually gonna actually apply it to the entire plant. So what we're gonna do here, and what the instructions require is that you put the um, paint powder into the can. And then we're going to add water halfway up and then we're gonna add the oil vial. And here we go. We're gonna dump that in there. And then we'll take our spoon and mix that in. And then we can add some more water to the top. And now we've got an entire can of organic white paint this product comes in three colors, white, as well as brown and green, if you wanted to do something that's more cosmetically appealing for your garden, but white does reflect the most light. So for the purpose of sunblock, white is the best way to go, but all three paints do offer sunblock protection. Um, and again, they're equally, um, <coughs> equally good for um, protection against insects and rodents as well. And then there we go. So now we've got organic paint to apply to the plants. So. One other thing I want to share with you before we get going to talk about sunburns, if you follow me here. So this plant here is my Fuerte Avocado tree. This here was installed um, back in December or so. So it's about six months old and you can see it's already taller than myself. I'm a little over six feet tall. This here is probably closer to about seven to eight feet in height. Take a look at some of the sunburn that's going on over here. If you take a look in here, You'll notice here's the branch. The branch is exposed to too much sun in this area and you can take a look at all the browning that's happening right there. So this here is sunburn damage to the plant. So we're also gonna be coating this with sunblock as well, the Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard paint. That'll actually protect this branch so it can actually put more time and energy into growing more leaves and actually getting healthier rather than putting more energy into repairing sunburn damage. Let's get, let's get started. So here we are now. The first thing we're gonna do is take the product here. Make sure you're actually stirring your product every five to 10 minutes to make sure that the oils are consistently throughout into the paint product. And then we're just going to coat the plant now with the paint solution. 
and all of the exposed branches will now be coated. And you can see that the plant's actually quite dehydrated. And what's most important is that you get the upper or the most exposed branches, such as this. This is all exposed to light, so we'll actually just paint it all along the exposed surfaces, such as this, but I'm actually just gonna get it all around. And we'll just continue going up the branch. And then, and then that's pretty much it. So we've now just protected that. The next step we can do is we can also take um, our spray bottle over here and add another teaspoon or two of this product to the spray bottle. And we'll shake that and just apply it now to the leaves. And now we've cooled the entire plant off. We've also made this plant insect proof as well, as it's got those oils that the insects don't necessarily like. Um, and if you actually zoom in now closely, you can actually see that we've made a organic sunblock protected plant. One other thing I want to share with you now about growing avocados, if you sit down over here. And we'll take a look over here. So we've just planted the Haas avocado. And what it says here on the back of this label is it says it's a self-pollinating plant and this plant will bear fruit without another variety nearby. So here's one label, but then I found for another person that I helped them landscape, it again, Haas Avocado, it's your picture of your plant. And it says right over here, it says, this fruit needs a pollinator. So we've got conflicting information. Same fruit, two different Two different tips. So when it comes to Haas avocados, do we need one avocado variety or two? And the answer is one is sufficient. If you've got one avocado tree in your garden, that'll be all you need to actually grow successful avocados in your, in your garden. Even if there's no avocados anywhere in your zip code, you can actually still grow successfully avocados as long as there's pollinators and the temperature and the weather and the fertilizer conditions are all good you should be able to grow avocado successfully in your garden. However, if you've got a type, a different type of avocado in your garden, um, the Haas avocado being a type A avocado, and the plant that I showed you that's got sunburn on its branches is a Fuerte avocado, which is known as a type B avocado. So by having a type A and a type B avocado within your own garden, you'll actually increase fruit production by anywhere from as little as 5% to, to as much as 20% more. So to get the maximum amount of fruit production from your avocado trees, I'd recommend that you actually have two different varieties of avocados. And more specifically being you plant one type A avocado variety and one type B avocado varieties and both of them will actually produce heavier and more successful yields year after year. And I'll put a link down below so you can actually read a little bit more about that. I'm actually gonna show you um, how I'm gonna correct that branch real quick so you can see how easily we're gonna do this now. Follow me. So again, here's the, um, the sunburn limb. All the other branches are actually still in good condition. And we're just gonna take some Ivory Organics or organic paint and just coat the damaged area. And that's it. Um, there's one last thing I wanna sh share with you. Let's go back. So, so why use Ivory Organics and not a different paint product? I've got here some primer. I've seen some people using primer for these projects. I've seen other people using just white latex paint. Um, and the reason not to be using products such as these are, and there's a few, I'll actually say it first and then I'm gonna share it with you, but paint products have a lot of preservatives in them. Think about it, when you're actually painting your wood products, 
they're actually you've got chemicals in there that actually have fungicides and algicides and other things to preserve your wood so that they can actually remain coated for many years to come. It also has chemicals in here that actually preserve the wood and will exist for decades on end, whereas an organic product such as Ivory Organics um, <coughs> is intended to be reapplied to be reapplied every year as it does break down and also allows the um, tree branches and tree trunks to breathe, um, whereas a latex paint is actually more uh, basically creating a weatherproof, waterproof, um, and airproof barrier to the outside elements. Let me share with you some of the issues that I found, and it's right here on these um, paint products that you can find you know, in your store. First one being, it talks about So the first thing that we see here is um, this product says over here that it's a stain killing power may be used under an over oil latex architectural dried film is mold and mildew resistant and inhibits rust. So here we're talking about the mold and mildew. Um, so it's got chemicals that actually um, resist and actually kill those elements. Um, additionally, it says caution. And furthermore, warning, this product contains a chemical known to the state of California to cause cancer and birth defects and other reproductive harm. Um, the other product over here that I've got reads here on the back. Under warning, this product contains chemicals known in the state of California to cause cancer and other birth defects and other reproductive harm. Um, so again, the issues with using non-organic products is that these chemicals are going not just on your plant and possibly actually causing harm to your plants, but it's also breaking down and getting into your soil. It's, um, and it's something that's gonna probably last and exist in your garden for many decades to come. Not just a year, um, you know, and it being non-organic, it's, it's designed and built to last for decades, if not um, centuries. So again, another reason to avoid using a chemical-based paint and using um, an organic-based paint, such as Ivory Organics. So, I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, be sure to like it and share it with your friends and your family and your garden club communities, um, depending on where you, uh, you know, wherever. So, I hope you found this video helpful, and if so, be sure to like it, and most importantly, subscribe down below. By subscribing, you'll be connected to all of our Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard video, educational gardening videos that we put out on average once a week or every other week. Um, we hope that we so find these found videos. this video informative, and if so, be sure to like it, and most importantly, subscribe down below. By subscribing below, you'll be connected to all the other Ivy Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard videos and educational gardening tips. Again, thanks for watching, and happy gardening.